Hello and welcome into this drum lesson. Today I'll be showing you one of my most favorite fills. This fill is really good for raising the energy in a song to probably its max. This fill is also very useful as kind of like a start of fill. You start with this fill and then segue into some other things. There's a quick disclaimer before I teach you this lick. I first learned this like six or seven years ago and it was from a video with JP Bouvet. So that's where I learned this lick from. Today I want to show you how to play the lick and also how to use it in your playing and take it to different places. All right, the fill is as follows. It's a six note lick and it's played as 16th note triplets. You'll begin with your right hand and your right foot at the same time. At this point, I'll be playing the first stroke on the right cymbal. You'll then play two ghost notes on the snare with your left hand. So, right, left, left. And just like that, we're halfway through the fill. Right, with a kick underneath, left, left. Then you'll play a kick drum on its own. And then you'll play the floor tom and a loud snare hit. So that's right, left, left, kick, right, left. And remember, the first stroke is with the bass drum underneath. If you want to play this fill for a whole bar of 4-4, we need to play it four times in a row. And that will sound like this. Once again, a little bit faster. And now a few times up to speed. Important to remember when you're learning this fill for the first time is that the first two strokes on the snare are ghost notes, so quiet strokes, and the last one is a loud stroke, accented. Another neat thing about this fill is that the bass drum is actually just playing eighth notes. One, two, three, four. which in and of itself adds a lot of forward momentum. Of course, you can play this fill exactly like that. Just fill out the whole bar of 4-4, four, four, play it four times in a row. There's nothing wrong with that. But here's an alternative to that, uh, where you start up with this fill and then you segue into something else. So for this example, we're gonna play it three times in a row, which is this. Directly after that, we we'll just continue with our 16th note triplets and we'll play it right hand, left hand. But we'll play the right hand on the crash, the left hand on the floor tom, and each time we play the crash, we'll play with the kick drum. Sounds something like this. What I like to do is to do like a dynamic shift in this last part and maybe not start quietly but like a medium sort of volume and the build up to the big fill.
Okay, so this was just one way to play this fill. Playing it three times over and then moving to single strokes, sticking with those 16th note triplets and placing it between the crash and the floor tom. Also with a kick underneath. Maybe you prefer a different approach. Maybe playing the fill twice and then moving to some regular 16th notes after that. And maybe playing it just one time and blazing some 32nd notes after. The choice is yours. I encourage you to go through every variation that you can think of. I do believe that was all for this video. I'll play some more examples of these variations at the end of the video. But before you go, remember to press the like button, subscribe, leave a comment and all of that good stuff.